Hi, good morning. Today we are going to know about structure of the flower. There are different types of flowers in our surroundings. The appearance of these flowers are different from each other. But the structure of all flowers are similar. So we select and dissect any one of the flower to learn structure of the flower. Here we select the thura flower to learn structure of the flower. This is the thura plant with flowers. Collect a datura flower for dissection. Flower has a stalk like structure called pedicel. The upper swollen part of the pedicel is called thalamus. Flower pots are arranged on thalamus. Usually there are four parts in a flower. They are calyx, Corolla, Andresium, and Gynesium. These four parts are arranged on the thalamus in walls. This is calyx, the first and outer wall of the flower. This is corolla, second wall of the flower. This is andresium, third wall of the flower. And this is gynesium, fourth wall of the flower. This is dissected datura flower. Here we can observe all parts of a flower. Pedicil, thalamus, calyx, corella, andresium, and gynesium. This is calyx. First wall of the flower. Green in color. It has five sepals. Gives protection to the inner parts. This is corella, second wall of the flower, white in color. It has five petals. Petals attract insects for cross pollination. This is andresium, third wall of the flower. It has five stamens. Each stamen has a long filament and a sac-like structure anther. Anther produces pollen grains. Pollen grains are the male gametes. Hence, andresium is the male reproductive part of the flower. Here we are observing anther under a microscope. Several thousands of pollen grains are present on anther. Take some pollen grains on a glass slide for observing under a microscope. These are pollen grains. Male gametes of the plant. This is gynesium and also called as pistil or corpel. Fourth wall of the flower. It is single. It has three parts. Ovary, style and stigma. Ovary produces ova. Ova are the female gametes. Hence, 
Gynesium is the female reproductive part of the flower. Now we are observing stigma under a microscope. Here we are making longitudinal section of ovary for observing ova under a microscope. Now we are observing LS of ovary under a microscope. These are ova, female gametes of the plant. This is transfer section of ovary. These are ova. Likewise, all flowers have the same parts. For example, observe the parts of hibiscus, nerium, centrosema, tecoma, etc. Okay children, study well, grow well, be a good citizen and proud to be an Indian. Thank you.